game on. It's bitterly cold in Whitehorse, and the Canadian Winter Games have begun. The National. Here is Carol McNeil. Thousands of Canadian athletes arrived in the Yukon today for a different type of gold rush, the start of the Canada Winter Games. Prime Minister Stephen Harper was there to kick off opening ceremonies. Seeing the faces of you young athletes, I know these are going to be the best Canada Games yet. It belongs to but even the hardiest competitors might have wished they had taken up tennis instead. It was minus 25 today. So, this year the games have gone where they've never gone before, to the north. And as Melissa Fung reports, they've also teamed up with another athletic competition that's right at home in the Yukon. On foot. And on a dog sled. This the flame, symbolic of the spirit of the Canada Games, travel across the north, every single corner of the north. The Canada Games torches burned brightly, despite the sub-zero temperatures to arrive in Whitehorse for today's opening ceremony. This is the first time a Canada Games has been held north of the 60th parallel. It was to show Canada what we do in the north. And the first time the Inuit and Denny Games will take place Two, alongside. Three, three, Featuring events like the blanket toss and the high kick. The Inuit Games in the past were a way of showing your strength. They signified the way that people did things, you know. The triple jump is how they got across ice, or the stick pull in Dene games was how they caught fish. It's why these games have special significance for John Taitana. He's been involved in the Inuit games for more than 30 years. This is my first time carrying a torch and finishing it off and passing it on to the youth. Inside, it really, how do you say, it's, um, it feels good to give it to youth from the elders. Eh? And it is the youth who will benefit from these games. Among the lasting benefits, a multi-million dollar athletic center funded in part by the federal government. Rebecca Mahler is a speed skater who will represent the Northwest Territories in the games. Oh, the facilities are such an advantage. It, it, it's always nice to, to train in, in a, an up-to-date facility and a, a really state-of-the-art facility. So, you know, it's, it's definitely an added bonus to have the, those facilities up north. Um, it encourages the young athletes to, to strive to do their best. Over the next two weeks, more than 2,600 young athletes will compete here in 22 events. And this small northern city will get to catch a glimpse of Canada's future Olympians. Melissa Fong, CBC News, Whitehorse.